Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to do my April check-in for my project pan. And yes, it's getting to Kat where the you know, boogie, you can barely see him, but he is there sleeping, which is great. Uh, I know people missed uh, Kat sleeping on the couch and it is getting to that weather. Hooray. Um, but uh, I'm a little bit early for my project pan. So um, normally I put this up sort of like first week of April, but I think I'll be putting this up end of March. Um, partly because I would normally film this early next week and I'm getting a new island bench installed and some shelving. So I'm not gonna be able to film this when I wanna film this next week. And also I've made a lot of progress. So I'm sort of happy to film this now and have it up a bit early. Um, if there is noise outside, there's sort of construction happening and someone like driving around this forklifty thing. And I, I don't wanna close the balcony because it's such a nice day. So. It is what it is. But uh, if you're not familiar with what this project pan is, it's a full face rolling project pan. So uh, pretty much I've picked an item uh, from most categories of my sort of makeup routine and some skincare and hair care and whatnot. And um, I'm targeting them to try to use them up or hit pan on them. And then when I've used something up, I roll something new in. Now, the thing about this update is it's the quarterly refresh. So every three months um, in this particular type of project pan that we created, uh, you can sort of refresh products. So if you're really hating something and you want to get rid of it, um, you can swap it out at this point, but it's really like, it, we sort of encourage people to give things a go for three months. Um, and then if you struggle with it or you're just not using it or like a color's not suiting you this season or whatever it happens to be, you've got the opportunity to swap it out. Also, if you do want to find other people that are doing this particular type of project pan, click on the hashtag. So it's in the title in the description box um, and you'll be able to find people that are doing a similar thing. Um, but yeah, so this quarterly refresh, um, which is the first quarterly refresh of the year, I actually haven't really needed to remove things because I haven't liked them. I've just used up a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I sort of did that strategically. Firstly, I do think that most products that you've used, that you use all over your face or most products that are sort of like half empty, you can get them done in around three months. So by this time in the project, um, you will see a lot of progress sort of happening. Um, but also I really tried to knuckle down in March and get a lot of stuff used up. And like if something was close to being used up, I'm like, I am trying my hardest to use it up because I know that in the next month or so, um, my progress will slow down. So, so yeah, I sort of strategically wanted to get ahead of things and use up as much as I can. Um, before it gets to a point where I'm like, I'm actually not wearing much makeup at the moment and I'm not seeing much progress, but hopefully um, there are a couple of pr uh, products still left in here that I think I can probably, even by not wearing much makeup, I think I can use them up um, by next month because my goal is every month I want to at least have something used up in my project pan. But this month I've got heaps, so let's run through that now. All right, so the first thing that I used up is actually my foundation. Now I tried really, really hard to use this up because the color is wrong for me. It's quite yellow. I didn't mind the foundation, um, but I did prefer mixing it with a different foundation because the color was better and the consistency was better. So um, I did get to a stage and I will show you close up where it's, there's a line down here. So it looks like there's still product in there, but I couldn't for the life of me pump it out. And this top doesn't remove, so I couldn't pour it out. So hopefully you can see that settle line down there. Um, that's what I got down to, but it won't pump out anymore. But I really did try to increase my progress in the last month because I wanted this done um, because the cooler the weather becomes, which we're getting into, we're in autumn at the moment and like, you know, around the corners winter, this shade would not work for me at all. And I just wanted it done. So I, I tried to use this even days I wasn't planning on wearing makeup. I'm like, I'll wear a little bit of foundation and put a tiny bit of makeup on because this has got to go. And I, I finished it. Hooray. I also finished the dreaded uh, liquid illuminator from Longcom. This product was one that I demonstrated in a get ready with me using these products. And I mentioned how pairing it with that particular foundation sort of separates the foundation a little bit. So this just didn't really work with that foundation. I did use it. So pretty much I introduced it in December, January, February, March, and now it's done. Um, so it's taken me a long time to use that amount. Surprisingly, I had this for a little while, but I did use it a lot more. And I think it was just something that worked better with other foundations that I was using at the time to add a little bit of luminosity. But with that particular foundation, um, the L'Oreal one, 
one, it just wasn't working. So I ended up just trying to wastefully use this on my legs. So if I actually was going out and I put like some bronzer or um, whatever it was on my body, I would sort of put this on my legs. So um, I used it up that way because I just couldn't handle it, but it has, has been used up. All right, the thing that I was knuckling down this week with was actually the Smashbox Primer. So this is the Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. Um, I like this in summer because it did control oil and it did sort of control a bit of shine, but I found that um, now that my skin's possibly getting a bit drier because of the weather, um, I've been going for more sort of, uh, hydrating primers and this sort of balls up my foundation or makes my foundation sit a little bit patchy. So I didn't like using it in the recent couple of sort of month or so. Um, so I had to really force myself to use it. And again, I sort of just paired this with this guy on days that I didn't really care about how well my makeup sat. But also I found that days where I wasn't really wearing much makeup, um, I would find that this was nice just to sort of fill in your pores and mattify your skin a little bit. And then I'd maybe go out over with a bit of a powder. So those were like my no makeup days. Um, and I have used that up, which is good. One thing that I literally finished, I think this was yesterday and this is a huge task. I finished the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So there is a tiny bit left in there. I don't know if you can see just in that corner. So right in that corner there, but otherwise it is pretty damn empty. Now this takes ages to get the smallest like if you've got a tiny bit left like this amount left um it takes so long to like get it out of the bloody packaging um and you can't just open this it doesn't have like an easy insert it's like it's just all one piece or it's fused together um i'm just worried that i'm gonna like destroy things like my fingers and knives trying to open that so um i just thought that little bit can just be left in there um but what i ended up doing was i spent a good like 10 minutes one day just like shaking it all into the lid and then i just used it from the lid um and i used it up so that is done the first thing that I actually finished um, throughout the month, and I used this up probably, I remember my last check-in, I mentioned that this is probably, I don't know if I, meant, if I mentioned it in my video or my get ready with me when I was using these products, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the mini like clear brow gel. It's just a tiny little one. I think in my get ready with me, I mentioned that this is getting dry. Um, and about a week after I posted that, I sort of decided this is too dry to use. Um, there's not much left on the wand. Like it's pretty, pretty nothing like it's been a bit tinted now because you know clear brow gels tend to go a bit brown after you've put them use them too many times um if your brow products are brown you get it you know what i mean uh but yeah so i i pretty much use that up within a week of posting my last video i also used up my keels this is the youth dose eye treatment so this i didn't even really use under my eyes too much i mentioned um, I've been using this a little bit as um, sort of like a primer before I did my makeup, before I put my like hydrating primer on and it is done. I also, um, because I was getting a bit frustrated with it, I did also sometimes use it on my hands. <laughs> but it's done. All right, next is a thing that I've made heaps of progress on and I'm going to take it out because my goal was to hit pan on it and I did hit pan on it. Um, I do wish that I could keep it in and use it all up but I sort of feel like it's hindering me using something else, if that makes sense. So my Pixi highlighter, um, I actually started focusing on this highlighter more than my Tarte palette. So I've got a Tarte blush palette that I'll show you in a second. And I was using that for blush and highlighter and I hit a hit pan on that highlighter. And as soon as I did that, I have used it a couple of times. You will see that I've used it a couple of times, but I pretty much shifted my focus to trying to hit pan on these and I hit pan on both shades, which is crazy. So I will zoom in so you can see, um, it's like a grid sort of pan. Um, and I'll show you on the screen where it was up to last month. So hopefully you can see that if I wipe that away, it's actually green plastic. So I've hit pan on both of them. Um, I also have used this as high as a eyeshadow occasionally. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's, there we go. That's the progress. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to put that back in my drawer for a while and I'm tempted to bring this back into the project maybe later in the year to try to like use it up because I do want this sort of done and used up. But 
uh, for now I'm going to take it out. And the last thing that I'm considering done, even though it's not quite done, but pretty much in a couple of days time it'll be done, um, is actually my Dermalogica. This is the antioxidant Hydra Mist. So I introduced it up here, then um, that was Feb check-in, March check-in, and I'm down here now. So I figure this is so small that I may as well consider it done. Just use it for the next couple of days. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll um, replace it with some other skincare item. So uh, yeah, I consider that done. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the products that I am introducing into my project pan to replace these. So I always wanna have a foundation. I always wanna have a skincare item. I always wanna have a highlighter, all that kind of stuff in my project pan. So I am introducing some more products. Now, the first thing I, I was looking at my foundation drawer um, or my base drawer and the product that had been sitting there for a while that I thought look I want to get use out of you and I theoretically like you but at the same time I struggle using you so I'm going to put you in my project pan and it's actually this so this is by the brand Misha it is a Korean brand yep um, and this is the perfect cover BB cream it's uh, got SPF 42 which is good so that's good for just like a daily wear kind of thing. Um, I'm happy with that. And the shade that I have is number 23, which is natural beige. Now, the problem with this shade is it's very, very gray toned on me. So I don't mind the product. It is um, probably lower coverage than I would normally go for. But then if I pair it with my concealer, it means I can use my concealer more whatever, but it's more the tone that kills me. And the lighting's going in and out a lot, so I apologize for that. But um, I will show you the color of this because it is very, very unusual, um, but it's super gray. And it's a thing that has stopped me from using this. I do know the product is a nice product. It's a nice BB cream. Uh, I just can't handle the tone. So if I um, darken this a bit, so hopefully you can see it, it actually, for my skin tone, it looks quite gray. Um, so if I put a little bit on, so if I show you here, look at that. It makes me look like, I don't know, like a statue or something. It's a really weird tone. So yeah, I didn't really know what to do with this, but then I was playing around and I'd been playing around the last couple of days and I realized I've got this foundation, which I do like this Hourglass foundation. So it's the Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. I did a wear test on it, like I think last year, and I did like it. Um, it's just that it's a very high coverage foundation. I don't wear it on a daily basis because it is so high coverage. And since using this, um, I have found um, the Smashbox foundation, which is a full cover one and wears better on my oily skin than this. So I decided to pick this up and see if it paired well with this one. Um, so this is in the shade Natural, which um, I actually have two shades of this, and this is a slightly darker one. And again, this is a little bit too sort of orange toned for me. So um, I'll show it to you. So there we go. We've got gray and we got like peachy. So hopefully you can see that that one's a very, very dewy and that one's very, very high coverage. And the last couple of days I've been mixing them together and they end up being a really good match for me. So um, as you can see, it sort of matches my hand pretty well, but it also matches my face. Oh, I've got found foundation on my lips. Awesome. Good one. But that's essentially the combination that I've been wearing the last couple of days. It wears really well. I feel like the BB cream sort of adds a little bit more moisture into the foundation and the foundation adds a little bit more coverage. So together, I think it's a really, really great mix. So I'm panning both of these um, because I think, yeah, sometimes if things don't work for you perfectly separately, try to mix them together and you might find that you discover a combination that works really well and the color works really well together. And right now for this weather, the finish works really well. This is sort of oxidizing on my hand a bit, but it, yeah, it, I'm wearing it today. It works. Now, both of these aren't heavily used. This one I'm going to have to weigh um, and this one I'm waiting for it to settle, but I do think it's probably down to around here-ish, but I will let this settle overnight and I will mark it. But um, yeah, I had them lying in a drawer, so um, I wasn't able to get this to settle in time because it's quite thick. Then I was looking through my powders and I've got a good stash of powders that I really like, um, but the one that really frustrates me and I thought, look, I'm going to be able to use this pretty quickly because uh, the cooler weather's happening, so I don't need anything too like super mattifying. And this is only six grams of product. It's the Shiseido powder. I will have the full name in uh, the description box because right now I've just got it and it's um, in Japanese. Um, but this is the Radiant Powder. Now I did talk about this in a fails a while ago because 
The, there's a mesh over the top that's a sifter that's really horrible. I actually cut it out. So that is just the product loose. So I've got to be very careful because it is just sitting there loose. Um, but it means I can, you know, probably use a lot of it at a time. But I decided to cut off the mesh. Originally I poked holes in the mesh. This was a while ago. But um, it still didn't, the product wasn't really coming out. So you can see this is actually like, I don't know, like really thick stocking material and no product was coming through. Hopefully you can see, how do you get powder through that? It's not even a mesh, it's like thick stocking material. So um, yeah, that was a nightmare, I hated it. And it definitely stopped me from using this powder, but um, it's been sitting in my drawer for a while and because it has been warmer weather, I figured, look, I'm not going to use a radiant powder that doesn't really set very well in the warmer weather, but now it's getting cooler weather, I wanna use this up. So um, that's the powder I'm replacing the Fit Me powder with. Then because I used up a couple of skincare items, I did wanna add some more skincare in. I decided to add this serum from The Ordinary. This is a hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. Um, and it's simply because I've got a couple of hyaluronic acids on the go um, serums and I just thought, look, I should use up one before I use up the other. Um, and this is the sort of oldest one that I had. So that blue mark is where it's currently up to and I will just keep using that. I also wanted to use up this cleanser. Now I really like this cleanser. It's a La Roche-Posay Tolerane uh, Softening Foaming Gel. Now I'm holding it upside down because the other day um, I dropped it and um, the little stopper bit that's supposed to be in the lid that then when you clip it, it clips into that. Um, that actually broke off. So now this is sort of, it's, look, it's gonna leak if I don't hold it this way. And also this isn't like sturdy. So even though I do really like this cleanser and normally I'll just use it organically, um, I do wanna use it up because it is sort of difficult to use now and I can't just sort of store it easily in my shower. But I can tell you holding it up to the light that it is down to here. So there's not much left in it. It's sort of around that mark when I stand it up. So I will probably mark that. I was gonna weigh it, but I figure if I can see through the packaging, I'll just mark it. Um, with nail polish like I did other things, but yeah, that's that's why I'm targeting that. All right, so I didn't really want to replace a highlighter into this project pan because I have um, two highlighters in my blush palette, but because I did use up an illuminating liquid product that, that I was sort of wanted to mix in with my foundation, um, and I also used a hip pan on a powder highlight, I thought, look, I should really include another liquid illuminator because um, I don't actually have many in my collection. This is the only one I could actually find. And I thought, look, I'll see if it works well. And I haven't tested this yet, so this could be an absolute fail, but I'll see if this works well with my current sort of project pan foundation combo. And if it does and it adds a little bit of glow and luminosity, it can stay in the project and I'll see how much I can use of it. But again, this is not putting too much pressure on myself because this is a completely full product. So this is actually the Suva Beauty. Um, it is the, what's What's it called? It's a liquid chrome illuminating drops and the shade is Trust Fund. So this is a beautiful gold shade. Um, it is right up the top. Like I've, I think I've just swatched this a couple of times. I don't even know how this applies as a liquid highlighter, but liquid highlighters, I don't use them very often. So I don't buy many of them. Um, but I just thought, look, I'm going to give it a shot. This is more of a challenge product for me. So it's not something I'd use um, organically on a daily basis, but I'll try to mix it with my foundation. I'll try to use it as a highlighter. I'll see how I go. And the worst case scenario is if I don't like using it, I'll just take it out in the next quarterly check-in. Um, but I thought I'd give myself a bit of a challenge. Then to replace a brow gel, I decided to bring in a product that I really, really am loving at the moment and I don't want to see go. So I've got like mixed emotions about this. Like I don't actually want to use it up, but at the same time I've had it for a few years and I probably should get a fresh one. So this is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It's a clear brow gel and I really love this brow gel. It's such a good product. So I've been really enjoying just using it on a daily basis. What I love about it, besides the fact that it works really well at holding your brows in place, it's got like, it's like flat. So you can almost just like, and what I tend to do is once I've drawn my brows on or filled my brows in, I sort of use the flat side to sort of push down the brows. Because sometimes I find that if you use a spoolie, it would actually brush out the brow products that you've used. So this has like a spatula sort of end where you can push it in, or you've got the two comb sides that you can brush it through if you want to. So you can brush it and then 
like flatten it down or whatever and I just really like the product so even though I don't want this out of my collection and if I do use it up I will probably repurchase it because uh, I really enjoy it I thought look it's probably been in my collection for a couple of years now and I may as well focus on it because hey I've been using it anyway so why not put it in my project all right the last thing I'm adding in is actually a hair product and you might be thinking Kat you didn't use up a hair product but I'll explain. Um, so I'm going to be adding in this Kristen S Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I really like this leave-in conditioner. Um, and, and as you can see, that's where it's up to. So I've marked it there. Um, essentially, um, the reason I'm adding this in this time around is because, A, it's a product that I am happy to use and I've had for a little while now. And I've got a few products like that in my stash. So um, I may as well use it up before it goes bad or anything. But also because I'm not quite finished with my Batiste um, dry shampoo damage control. I did say that I want to get more hair products used up this year. So um, when I feel like this is nearly done, but it's not quite done. I want to have like a backup product in there. So um, if I finish this throughout April, I've got another hair product that I'm sort of still making progress on. Um, but I do have a bunch of dry shampoos that I want to work through this year. So as soon as this is done, I'll move on to another one. But lately, I think because I've cut my hair short, I haven't been using as much dry shampoo. So um, I was expecting to use this up by this check-in, but I didn't. But I'm fine because I made heaps of progress on other things. Um, but I will weigh this so we can see what it's up to. So last check-in, this was at 97.9 grams and it's now at 68.9 zero four ish so um, I made a lot more progress from the last couple of months than I have in the past month uh, which is fine but I do also know that from experience because I used one of these um, in January the empty bottle weighs about 53 grams so I really don't have too much left um, it would be probably the rate I'm using at the moment, maybe a couple of weeks use. So um, yeah, this will be done very, very soon, but I did want to have sort of a backup plan hair product put into the project just so I can still see hair progress, if that makes sense. All right, let's get on to some other products that I've seen good progress on. Um, and again, these this is sort of a product, well, the first one I'm going to talk about is a product that I'm kicking myself I didn't finish, but just like the dry shampoo, I'm so close that at least I know that next month's check-in, I'll have something used up. And what I'm talking about is my sunscreen. So this is the Sunsense Anti-Aging Face. Um, and you can see where I am now up to. So I introduced it in February, that's March, and that's April. And um, I'm so close to using it up. I'm actually at the point where I have to hold it upside down or store it upside down so I can access it. Um, but I didn't want to rush this because, you know, we're stuck inside at the moment. And even though, you know, using SPF 50 is not a bad thing to do on a daily basis, um, I don't want to sort of over apply if I'm not even going outside. So I'm happy that like, I'm happy to chill with this and use it organically. Um, but I do think that in the next month I'll be able to use it up, uh, no matter what happens. So yes, yeah, so at least I'm, you know, that's nearly there. The next product that I've seen some decent progress on, not as much as I sort of wanted, but there's still visual progress, is uh, my Tarte Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. So um, I did mention that uh, I made some more progress on the highlighter, which I did. So I'll zoom in and I'll show you the photo uh, from last time. Uh, what I've also done is made a little bit more progress on this one, hopefully, and this one. Um, pretty much the middle of that, there's no design left and you can see that ring forming. Um, I was hoping to hit pan on this this time around, but I didn't quite make it. Um, and then I've also made some progress on this highlighter here. Not so much any other blush. These are quite dark for me. Um, I have used this a couple of times, but I don't think it's enough to to have much visual progress, but I'll zoom in and I'll have the photos on the screen so you can see the comparison from last month. All right, so definitely you can see there's progress on this highlighter. Hopefully you can see a little bit of progress here and you can see that ring forming. So hopefully next month I will get that ring, like the pan showing, I'm really trying. Um, it's a really nice blush and it pairs beautifully with that. But I, I actually didn't use this too many times in the last month. It's just that the pan is getting bigger and bigger because I wanted to try to use the Pixie one. 
Now that the Pixie one is out of the way, I can go back to using this and I can go back to using this. So occasionally I was using this one, which is lighter and it suits me uh, in the cooler weather. So um, I have worn down, I think, some of the pan there. I have used this a couple of times. I have used, um, the, I think these, I've played around with them a little bit, um, mainly that one, but I haven't worn anything away yet. So this is more of the sort of winter side that I'll be using. The last thing that I've made some good progress on is actually my Brow Contour Pro from Benefit, which I introduced last check-in. Um, so I said I wanted to use up the two brow colors. There are two sort of highlight uh, skin colored pencils and I wasn't too keen on worrying about those but I did want to use up the two brow pencils um, and I've actually used up the lightest one so this is completely done nothing's coming out I actually used this up just the other day I was, I was doing a sort of get ready with me um, and I used it up and so I've been trying to focus on the darker shade um, now the problem with the darker shade is that it's sort of too dark for me. I am using it quite a lot today with the brow pomade, but I can't just use it. Whereas a lighter shade I could use in my full brows, um, this darker one I can't. So what I tend to do is, um, fill my brows in with pomade and I just use this to sort of mimic hairs and just sort of patch up little bits like that. Um, but it is quite dark. So if I use it too much, I end up getting very, very dark brows. Might be an okay look in winter, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna take longer than uh, the light brown one did take to use up, but I did weigh this, so um, I will check the weight. All right, so the last weight was 14.66 grams, and now it's at 14.61-ish. So clearly these don't contain much product, um, but, or maybe most of the product is in the other pencils but the one that i used up didn't take very long to use up which was good so yeah i'll keep trying to make progress on that all right onto products so i've made some progress but not like amazing progress um, i have been using my um, mecha max bronzer for like ages i've been using it a lot this month and hopefully you can see you can see a lot of pan, like the pan hasn't come through but you can see the pan design look there's a pan ring, pan ring, pan ring, pan ring. So I'm really wearing down that middle portion, which is really good. So there'll be a photo on the screen of where I was up to last month. I'm not sure if you're gonna see a big difference with it, but I, I'm sure you can see the, the the pan, the pan sort of rings, which implies that they're under there somewhere and I'm gonna hit them sometime soon. So uh, yeah, this is massive. It's a massive bronzer that contains 30 grams of product. So um, yeah, I'm not expecting fast results, but I'm at least seeing a dent, which is great. I'm seeing some okay progress with my uh, finishing spray. So this is the Mecca Cosmetica Makeup Perfecting Mist. Um, so pretty much I introduced it in Feb, that's March, and that's down to April. So if I keep using it at that same sort of steady rate, it should be done uh, around next month. But again, if I don't wear much makeup in the next month or so, this might take a bit longer, but I'm not too fast because I'm making progress. I do have the primer. So this is the Mecca Maxima Illuminating Primer. I have been using this uh, quite a bit because it is a nice sort of hydrating, illuminating primer. Um, I had to weigh this, so uh, we'll see what it's up to. So last month it was 67.97 grams and now it's around 61.79 grams. So I've used over six grams of it, which is good. So this is in total 45 mils. We'll just keep using it. It is a nice one to use. It's, it feels like skincare. So I think this will be a nice one to use throughout the cooler months. All right, so I'm seeing some progress on my fragrance. Again, I've been using this <laughs> all year and um, getting very, very small increments, um, mainly because this is quite a strong fragrance and because the bottle's quite large. So this is the widest part of the bottle. So, um, you know, it's, it's slow to make progress, but I think once I sort of get down here, the progress will be a lot faster, but I have been wearing this every day. And you can see that that pink is January, that's February, March, and we got April down here. So um, yeah, so it's small increments, but I'm still, I'm, I'm using it like pretty much every single day, which is crazy that it's going down so slowly, but it is. All right, so in the past couple of months, I've been making really slow progress on my Flower Beauty uh, concealer, but this month, um, hopefully you can see that there is a lot of scrape marks. So if I, you know, I'll zoom in, hang on a second. So if I move the wand around, you can see that the scrape marks happen and they stay put, which means that they're not refilling. 
Um, so I have been using this quite a lot to the point where I've actually had to take the stopper out um, to access more product because it was just coming out quite dry. So I'm going to weigh this and the stopper and we can see how much progress I've made. All right, so last check-in, it was at 21.1 grams and the check-in before I'd only used one gram of product. This time around, it's 19.77 grams. So I'm making better progress than I was last month, which is really good. So I will continue to use this um, as much as possible. And I sort of want it gone fairly quickly because I don't love it. All right, Huda Beauty Tan Tour in Fair. This one I hit pan on or hit glass on uh, last month. And you can still see that I've hit pan on it, but I haven't been using it nearly as much this month. Um, I've been focusing more on the powder bronzer and um, I haven't been filming as much. So I use this more when I'm we wearing like fuller coverage foundation and I'm doing more filming. Whereas this month I've sort of cut back a little bit on filming. So um, this one I haven't used, I haven't been, yeah, I don't think the pan's growing too much. It'll be a photo on the screen. Um, it is covered with product at the moment. So let's try to uncover it a bit. Hopefully that's a bit better. So yeah, you can compare it on the screen to where it was up to last month. But yeah, I've only probably used it a handful of times. I'm not going to spend too much time on my single eyeshadows. I have been using them, but I haven't been using them heaps. Um, I have like, I'm currently doing a found, uh, not foundation, eyeshadow wear test of a Too Faced palette. And I also did a NARS one earlier in the month. So I've been sort of focusing on testing eyeshadows. But um, this Illamasqua one I've used probably the most. There is a slight dip in it but you really can't see it. So I'm not going to dwell on it. Uh, the one that I added in last month, which is a shade Wolf. Again, I've only used it a little bit and it's dark brown. So progress is slow. Uh, last month, I did have to repress this because it broke. So this eyeshadow looks a little bit different to what it did before. I've used it a few times, but there's no dent from actual use, <laughs> but that's that. The only one that you might see some progress of is um, my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. So I had a hit pan, I think in, I don't know, January or February. And I do think that pan has grown a little bit, but it, again, it's not, not much. So there's a comparison from last month on the screen. All right, with lip products, I know I've made some progress on these, which are like my balm type products. So I've got a lip balm that's a Sephora watermelon one. It's got that much left. What I might actually do is take a progress photo of this as it is, which is what I do anyway. And I might compare it to last month because when I'm holding it up like this and then you see a photo on the screen, it's really hard to compare because the size is so different. The scale is different, but I believe I have made progress, but hopefully you'll be able to see it up in the corner. Same as with this one. So it's Elizabeth Arden Lip Protectant Stick in Honey. Um, and I use this quite a lot. And again, this is fully wound up. So there's not much product there, but I'll put the comparison photos on the screen. So it's a bit easier to see the progress that I've made. But I feel like I use them all the time. I like using the tinted one when I'm going out and about and whatnot, um, which is not too much these days. Um, and then the lip balm I have next to my desk and I sort of apply it a couple times a day. So. There should be progress, but um, I sort of expected more. Oh well. Next lip products I'm not going to really dwell on too much. Uh, the liquid lipstick, uh, this is the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Trendsetter. I have used this a couple of times, but not too much. Um, I do try to let it settle and it's just under the mark from last time. I just, yeah, I've used this probably four or five times, not enough to make a really big dent, but it is a really beautiful color. I'm not even wearing it today. That's how crap I am. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to keep this in because even if I w you put something else in, I'm probably not going to use it too much because I like to change up my lip product too, uh, quite often, but also this color is really, really nice for autumn. So I'll, I'll keep it in. All right, ColourPop Lip Gloss. I have used this quite a few times, but again, um, I can see that it's starting to similar to the concealer uh, when you start to use it up you leave these sort of marks in there so there's not heaps in there but I haven't got to the stage where I need to take the stopper out so what I'll do is I'll weigh this so that was at 23.95 grams it's now at around 23.67 grams so I have used a bit of it but not heaps um, and I have been focusing more on the lip balm type products than this so that does make sense all right, I'm going to rush the next couple of things before my legs completely die on me. Um, the next one is my gel liner. So this is my MAC fluid line. So you can see that uh, last time I'd hit the base and I've just sort of worked away a little bit. I've had been adding um, Inglot Duraline in there because it is drying a little bit. So um, yeah, there's not heaps of progress. The 
base I don't think has grown too much it's more me working around the side so you won't be seeing too much progress on that um, on camera anyway so we'll move on same as my brow pomade I have um, I've actually not used this too much because um, I've been using that brow pencil um, that light brown one now I'm getting back into this because I've got to use it to fill in my brows and then use the dark pencil to sort of mimic hair so I'm back onto this but um, for the longest or most of the month I wasn't using it too much because I was using the pencil. Speaking of pencils, the lip pencil, I've only used this probably a couple of times, maybe only sharpened it once. So um, I will again put a comparison photo on the screen because then you'll be able to see where this is up to in comparison to the Illamasqua rather than me holding it and you trying to judge, but there's only a little bit of progress on that. Last two things, I've got my Jouer Cream Eyeshadow Crayon. Um, this again, I haven't used too much this month because um, it is a sort of colored cream product and I've been testing a lot of eyeshadows. So I like to use this as a base um, or just on its own and just blend it out. Um, but again, what I'll probably do, I have used it a few times, but not heaps of times. Um, I'll put a comparison photo on the screen of where it's up to now versus last month. Um, I do know that I sort of dropped this and took a little dent out of it. Um, and I've since sort of worn it back down to a nicer shape. So I figure I've worn, used it a bit, but who knows? Last thing is my mascara and I'm going to have to weigh this. So we'll have a look. All right. So that was at 19.37 grams last time. It's now at 18.84 grams. So I have used it quite a bit. I'm using it today and the sun is starting to get very bright. Um, but those are all the products that I needed to check in on. So um, there's not anything that I haven't used, which is good. Um, I think I used up about eight products this month. So very, very good. Again, I think progress will slow down a little bit next month. So I'm sort of trying to get some products used up before uh, it gets too difficult to do so. Um, but I will be back in a month with another check-in and hopefully there's at least the sort of easy products done. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, if you are doing the project pan or a project pan, let me know how you're going with it. I'd love to know what are the products that you find easiest to pan, hardest to pan. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.